Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how to make this um, Victory Royale themed uh, support a creator code animation. It's not that hard to make honestly. I think you guys will be able to do it as well It shouldn't take too long either because it's quite a simple animation. So let's get right into it I'm gonna start with making a new composition. I'm just gonna call this main composition 920 1080p um, 30 FPS is fine like duration 10 seconds or something doesn't really matter and I'm gonna drag it drag in my example image You can just find this online and I'm gonna use um, the pen tool uh, Press G to select the pen tool and I'm gonna recreate these shapes so let's just place some keyframes here and you can press H for the hand to drag along there we're gonna just place some of these until we have the right shape there we go I have my shape I'm gonna duplicate this I'm gonna name the top one top and we're gonna name the bottom one bottom sorry if my keys are like super loud I just got a new mechanical keyboard so that's nice I'm gonna select the top one and I'm gonna go to fill I'm gonna uh, get the color picker and just select one of these blues i'm gonna do the same for the bottom but we're gonna select the uh, dark blue the sort of shadow there we go and then we're gonna uh, select the bottom one and just move this a little bit to the bottom and now i'm gonna place a keyframe for skill and set the first keyframe to zero I'm gonna go to 10 frames uh, we're gonna do that by pressing ctrl shift and uh, once on the right arrow key and we're gonna set this to 100 and personally i'm gonna use motion 2 for this because it will cre create a really nice bounce effect so i'm gonna drag the bottom uh, the top slider to 100 and then we're we're gonna press excite and i'm gonna go to the effects and set the friction to 80. this creates a really nice bounce maybe set the bounce to like the overshoot to like 15. if you don't have this you can just manually create a little shape but i personally find this much easier to do i'm gonna select both of these keyframes go to the bottom one and go uh, three keyframes to the right we're gonna do that by pressing ctrl and the right arrow key three times just gonna press ctrl v for to paste the effect it already scales up but it doesn't have the uh, nice bounce yet so I'm gonna select this one as well. Just select the key, the skill keyframes. I'm gonna press Excite as well. Just copy the settings, 15 and 80. There we go. So one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press both of these. I'm gonna go to Motion 2 as well and set the anchor points in the middle. Otherwise, it will create a very weird scale up. So this is super clean. I like this. Uh, next thing that we're gonna do is recreate these glows and these flashes, sort of. So we're just gonna grab the pen tool again and set the fill to white and recreate these shapes. It doesn't have to be exact, but just as long as it sort of matches, that's nice. There we go. For this little glow thing, we're just gonna create a ellipse and we're gonna drag it up like this. And I'm gonna go to effect panel and just drag on Gaussian blur and set the Gaussian blur to like, uh, let's say 250 or something, that's fine. I'm going to select both of these. I'm gonna go to pre-compose and name these flashes. I'm gonna go back to the main thing um, and we're gonna set the flashes to overlay. This will look much better. Uh, maybe set it to like 80 or something. That's better already. And then I'm gonna duplicate the top and we're gonna uh, set the flashes with the uh, parent link. I'm gonna set it to top so the flashes move along with the top layer. Also, we're gonna set the track mat to alpha mat top two. Basically what this does is make sure that um, the flashes are only visible on where the top is. So there we go, we have our nice pop-up animation. Now we're gonna uh, work on the text. Okay, so I'm gonna select the text tool, set this to like white or something, and then type in use code. Oh wait, all capitals, use code. I'm gonna make the C a little bit bigger or just make the, the O part a little bit smaller. Make the SE part a little bit smaller as well. Set it to like 180 or something. But of course, as you can see, this is way too big. So we're gonna uh, decrease the skill to like, oh shit, I meant to type 70, 70. Gonna set the rotation to like minus three or something. That looks fine, I guess. Duplicate this, uh, hold shift and press the down arrow key once and the right arrow key once to drag a little bit to the bottom. Uh, drag this under there. Then I'm gonna select the bottom one and just use the color picker to set it to dark blue. I'm gonna select both layers, um, drag them like up there so it's not confusing. And select both layers and just drag them down here or somewhere for both i'm gonna change the u to the r and then we're gonna type real do the same for the bottom layer i completely forgot that we were gonna do all caps so change that change that for the bottom one too that's looking really nice and we're gonna select this once more drag it up there so it's not confusing like the last time um and we're gonna type in hashtag one same for this hashtag one and we can turn up the skill for this a little bit more and maybe the rotation as well there we go that's nice i personally want my one to be like a little bit bolder than the rest and i'm gonna uh, select this one and drag it up there a little bit to like 22 or something so do this let's do the same for this one 
um, set this to bold that's looking really nice um, then I'm gonna set the color to like a, a light yellow this looks fine I'm gonna copy this yellow hex code I'm gonna go to the second text and uh, paste it in here and I'm gonna drag this one to the bottom so it's dark brown maybe even make this a little bit bigger then we're gonna select the real and um, press on the arrow key right here we're gonna go to animate and we're gonna animate the skill oh I got a steam message um, so let's animate the skill we're gonna set this to zero I'm gonna go to range selector advanced if you don't know how all of this stuff works just watch my previous tutorial I explained how text animators work I'm gonna set this to ramp up I'm gonna set this to minus 100 the offset and I'm gonna set the easy height or the ease high to uh, 50 and the ease low to a hundred then we're gonna place a keyframe for the offset so just to a hundred there we go now we have a nice pop-up so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this animator and just paste it to all the text but then the text is a little bit too early so we're gonna press uh, we're gonna hold shift and we're gonna drag a little bit to the right until it's like um, at 10 frames I like that that's looking really nice so a few more things you saw in my code it was a light sweep so we're gonna add that as well and we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna type in light sweep just drag it on there we're gonna uh, increase the sweep intensity to 500 we're gonna increase the sweep intensity to like 500 and we're gonna drag this to the right uh, I'm gonna press center I'm gonna go 10 frames to the right uh, by pressing Control shift and the right arrow key and then I'm gonna set this to here and I'm gonna time it at like 20 frames or something yeah that's looking cool and then one last thing is of course the little lens flare so we're gonna create a new layer a new solid and just call this flare and i'm gonna use bcc lens flare obs for this i'm gonna set the blending mode to screen and then i'm gonna set this one on the number one if you move on a second there we go and i'm gonna change this one all the way to the back because i personally don't like those extra flares i'm gonna decrease the size to like 0.4 and then i'm gonna uh, animate the uh, intensity so i'm gonna place a frame here for like zero and then i'm gonna go 10 frames further and set the uh, intensity to 100 okay so i'm gonna select both of these keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor and select this and drag it to the left oh shit i typed in 16 i meant to type in 100 so there we go that's looking really nice so one last thing is just turn on motion blur for everything okay so that's looking much smoother already and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these layers and just uh, pre-compose this and call it like main with capitals um, then i'm gonna press ctrl alt and t for time remapping i'm gonna go to uh, this one to one second and ten frames i'm gonna place a keyframe then i'm gonna go to uh, two seconds and 20 frames i'm gonna place the same keyframe as well but we're gonna copy this one and paste it here so uh, there's no time change in this one and then i'm gonna go to four seconds and i'm copy the first keyframe again so this will create a very nice loop so it loops backwards so you can easily use it as an overlay in your video oh if you don't want this to replay you can do that really easily by just going to this one uh, right clicking and we're gonna click on toggle hold keyframe this prevents it from replaying um so if you want to render it we're just gonna use adobe media encoder make sure you render it either as a webm format or an mov with alpha channel of course it's really important to turn on alpha channel and for the sound you can find some sound effects online just drag, drag them on there so thanks everyone that was my tutorial i'm sorry if it was a little bit long i tried to do it as fast as possible but still like really easily followable i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video bye everyone